Smart contracts on the Terra blockchain are written in Rust. Now, you could potentially write them in other languages, since other languages can compile to WASM, WebAssembly, which is the language that's actually on chain for smart contracts. But the tooling's built out for Rust, so we're going to need to use Rust to work with smart contracts. In this video, we'll just quickly install Rust, and then I'll show you a way to work on your Rust if you're not very you know, proficient at Rust, or even if you're just getting started with Rust right now, a nice learning tool that you can use along with whatever book or whatever you'd like to use. So let's open up a terminal. I'm in Windows Subsystem Linux, but on Mac OS or Linux, this will work fine just the same. We will curl to get the Rust installer, uh, rustup.rs, and then pass it off to our shell. If all goes well, They'll, uh, it'll give you some information about uh, environment variables and stuff like that. And uh, it's going to try to add everything to our path to make everything easy. And we're gonna proceed with the installation with default options. So we've got our default options and uh, it looks like everything is great here. Um, next time we log in, we'll automatically have our cargo bin directory added to the path. So. Let's actually just run this right now. I'm gonna copy this line. All right, that should work. Now, if we rust up, all right, the rust up command works, so our path is all set up and so on. We're ready to use rust. Now, if you're entirely new to rust, you should follow this final piece of advice it shows you, where you can do rust up doc and then minus minus book, which will uh, do nothing. So very helpful, Rust knowledge has just been downloaded to my brain. I don't know why that didn't do anything. Uh, but if you open up a, uh, a tab in your browser and you just search for the Rust book, it is the like premier resource to learn Rust. I'll bring my browser over here. And uh, just search for the Rust book. And uh, it's it's available free. It's updated. Uh, there's a little there's a book with Ferris the Crab on the front, and it's this same exact content. So it's for free here at doc.rustlang.org. Size it up a little bit, and it walks you through just in general Rust concepts, even if you're not familiar with programming at all. Of course, it helps if you've been programming before. It helps if you've done JavaScript or even HTML or something like that. But uh, it'll walk you through variables and things. And there are some concepts that are definitely unique to Rust, or at least that um, aren't present in most programming languages you're probably aware of. Things like mutability, things like uh, ownership, things like uh, lifespans, things like that. So there will be a real focus on learning those new concepts here in the book. And one excellent interactive tool you should uh, check out is Rustlings. I'll install it right now. Here I am in my home directory. And I forget the actual, yes, sorry. So using curl again, I'll get the rustlings. Uh, it's git.io install rustlings. Again, we'll pipe that to shell. All right, rustlings is getting installed. Uh oh, I'm starting to get some linker errors. So I forgot that we do need to install the build using the apt package manager or whatever system you're on. You might have to use homebrew if you're on a Mac. We have to install the build essential package. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to build what we need to build here. It's going to install about 160 megs of stuff. Failed to fetch some archives. All right, so we're going to sudo apt uh, update. All right, now build essential should install. Perfect. This is just a bunch of tools we need in order to compile uh, things locally, which uh, we need in order to install things like wrestlings. All right, that's good. So let's try wrestlings again. All right, this is good. It looks like we're building all the necessary components. And then I'll give you a quick peek into what Rustlings can do to help you learn Rust.
All right, all done. Run Rustlings to get started. So uh, in the Rustlings directory here. So it'll give me some tips on Rustlings when I run Rustlings. Doesn't seem to, it doesn't really do anything. And what you want to do is run Rustlings Watch and then just make changes to the various Rust programs. And the, the objective is to fix problems in Rust programs. You learn about Rust programming by fixing problems. All right, so I'm gonna open code here. All right, you can just use code right from the terminal to open Visual Studio Code. And then I can go into my Rustlings folder and just open that. So I installed Rustlings in Windows Subsystem for Linux in my home folder, Rustlings subfolder. Now I can just open that in VS Code. Okay. Let me size things up a little bit here. So here we see that there's a bunch of exercises. And the exercises, uh, they're, they're alphabetized. So you, you might think you don't know where to start first. So uh, if you head over to the terminal and run Rustlings Watch, it'll tell you that it's looking at the variables1.rs file first. So this is your first exercise, variables1 file. If we open that up, come into variables1, uh, we can see instructions here, make me compile. All right, and you need to figure out what's wrong with this. You can refer to the variables section in the Rust book at docs.rustlang.org. Uh, you could just to kind of hash it out. And if you're really in trouble, you can go to a terminal and run rustlings hint variables one. You type the test, the file name after rustlings hint and it'll give you some hints on how to fix it. So I'm gonna type let here because that's the problem and save that. And now rustlings is actually sitting there watching for changes. So since I saved it, it tries it again and it says, hey, okay, now it works, it's compiling. Now by default, it doesn't move on to the next exercise. You can keep working on it. Maybe you don't fully understand it. You wanna try something a different way. You wanna break it again and, and see if you can fix it again, whatever you wanna do. So I have to come in whenever I'm working on a file and delete this I am not done line and then save. And then it will move on to the next file. So over in Rustlings, it'll see that I did that. So it compiled variables one, it sees that I marked I'm done by deleting that I'm not done comment and now it's moved on to variables two. And it says there's an error here. We don't know what's going on. Uh, you have to fix the error in order to continue and so on and so on and so on. Eventually Rustling's watch as you work through it will run through like 50 files, making sure they're all good um, before getting to your current one. There are tests along the way. And this overall is a great way to learn the Rust language, whether you're new to programming, in which case it'll take you quite a while to figure some of these exercises out, or whether you're just trying to get into Rust or even refresh Rust so that you can be an excellent Rust programmer as we dive into Terra smart contracts.